Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie. This video module is going to be concerned with um, uh, productivity change and uh, choice. Uh, I'm going to use the example of education uh, because deans oftentimes uh, want to evaluate professors based on how well their students perform. Uh, the higher the uh, amount of student performance, the greater the student uh, improvement, uh, the greater the uh, uh, assessment and perhaps the greater uh, the raise. Uh, what I want to do is use a simple model of achievement in a course in French and, and achievement in a course in economics as illustrative of, of the management of problems when, in fact, we seek to pay uh, professors based on the performance of their students. We can turn to a, uh, a graph. Uh, this graph may look like a demand curve, but it is not one. Uh, a demand curve would have price on the uh, horizontal, I mean vertical axis, we have achievement in French uh, on that axis. A demand curve would have um, a quantity of a good on, on, on the horizontal axis. In this case, we have achievement uh, in economics. Uh, we can start out by assuming that students have a, a given amount of, of, um, uh, leisure, of work time uh, that they can apply to both of these uh, courses, uh, French and economics. If the student uh, applies all of his or her time to the study of French, then the student will uh, learn F1 uh, French. On the other hand, if the student applies all of his or her time to the study of economics, the student at maximum can earn uh, E1 or achieve E1 uh, level of knowledge in, in economics. Of course, when E1 is achieved, uh, there's zero learned in French. When F1 is achieved, there's zero learned uh, in uh, economics. Now more than likely a student going to school hoping to graduate is not going to choose either F1 or E1. The student might choose some intermediate uh, point. Uh, for example, combination uh, A, in which case the student learns F1 in French and, I mean, I'm sorry, F2 in French and E2 uh, in economics. Now let's suppose uh, that the professor in, in economics tries to improve the ease with which the students uh, uh, learn uh, economics. That is, the professor can come into class, he can change the textbook, he can change the lighting, uh, he can use uh, program study guides, or, or he can just come in and, and bounce a red ball in front of the class. And because the red ball keeps the uh, students' attention, attention, they're able to learn uh, more uh, economics. That is, the student uh, might be able to learn uh, E3 uh, in economics. Well, the, if we assume that the French professor does absolutely nothing, change, doesn't change his, his or her ways in the least, then the student can only learn F1 at maximum uh, in French. This means that the um, uh, student can indeed uh, move from a um, uh, the blue curve to a curve that looks like uh, uh, the red line. That is, the student can move to any point on, on the red line. The student can still choose F1, but he or she can, can now choose at a maximum uh, F3, uh, or any point uh, on uh, this, this new higher curve. Of course, uh, the student has a higher opportunity uh, set. Now, it might be thought that the uh, student will use the increase in, in, in uh, classroom efficiency in economics to learn uh, more uh, economics, say uh, E4. Uh, and this is what is normally assumed, uh, that if, in fact, there's a productivity increase in in economics uh, that the uh, performance in economics will, will rise. And if this were the case, if the student were to move from combination A to combination B, and if the dean were to evaluate the professor uh, based on student performance, uh, uh, the professor in economics would rightly uh, get a, uh, a higher raise. Uh, but notice that B is not the only combination that the student can take. The student can also take uh, combination uh, C, in which case the student would be persuaded to learn even more economics and the raise of the economics professor would be even higher. Well, the problem comes in when, in fact, uh, the student chooses a combination like 
combination D, in which case the student learns uh, F3 in French and E2 uh, in economics. That is to say, uh, the student um, uh, learns more French because uh, pro the ease with which economics can be learned uh, has been uh, enhanced. Now in this case, if the student moves from combination A to combination uh, D, uh, and if the dean evaluates the students based on uh, student performance in various courses, uh, then the dean would give the uh, French professor uh, higher marks and would say that the uh, economics professor has done basically uh, nothing. In this case, uh, the French professor would get a raise, the economist would get no raise uh, whatsoever. Uh, this means that uh, you can't just uh, evaluate people based on performance. Why? Because they have the capacity to shift um, uh, the gains in one area uh, to uh, the production uh, in another area. Now you may wonder, how is it that a student, that a student can learn more French without uh, the French professor having made French uh, easier to learn. Well, if in fact a, the economics professor makes learning and economics more efficient so that the student can move to B, then we can say that the uh, uh, student can now learn basically twice as much in, in economics in a given amount of time. Well, if in fact the uh, uh, the student can learn twice as much in a given amount of time, then the student can learn the same amount uh, E2 uh, in half the time, which means that uh, hours can be transferred from studying economics into studying uh, French. And, uh, uh, and that's what happens, is that there's a shift in the hours of application from economics uh, into uh, French. Now you can understand um, uh, why I uh, uh, am a bit concerned as to how uh, these video modules will be used uh, by uh, students. To some extent, I am, I am hoping that students will move from A uh, to B, and if not B, I, of course I would love that they will move uh, f uh, to C. But I know good and well that if in fact I give students what amounts to as an income increase, uh, then they very likely uh, might use some of this income uh, increase and transfer it over to some of the course uh, that they are studying, uh, for exam example, uh, organizational uh, behavior. That is to say, these video modules being used in economics may increase students' ability uh, to learn organizational uh, behavior. For that matter, uh, the, an increased ability to learn economics may result in, in more uh, uh, golf games uh, being played. And of course, I'm cognizant of that. And, and uh, my task is to try to keep the hours applied to economics, uh, own economics as much as possible, although I quite frankly would, would not resent uh, or be bothered by uh, students uh, learning more organizational economics as a consequence of these uh, uh, modules. Mm -hmm.